Frank. We have word that the shuttle is perhaps about to land. And our correspondent, Tom Mentier, standing by with a live update, Tom. Well, they had thought for a while they were going to be California-bound, but they're headed back from where they left a few days ago. Back to the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Let's go down now for a live picture. A few puffy clouds, uh, but they should be down in about uh, two and a half minutes, and they'll be landing. The last time uh, one of the orbiters used the Kennedy Space Center was just last November. Atlantis came in there because of bad weather in California. It only marks the seventh time that they have put an orbiter down at the Kennedy Space Center. It's not something they like to do. Discovery was there once before, back in April of 1985, and they had a tire blowout. So they uh, really are very, very leery of uh, coming back to the Kennedy Space Center. It is uh, a runway that is 2.8 miles long, 300 feet wide, but it has a lot of water around it. We're now starting to hear some radio communications. At 18,000 feet, descending at a rate of 119 feet per second. does appear to be a, a little foggy, as Flip was saying a little while ago, so the long-range tracking cameras probably won't be used. Uh, we probably won't see the orbiter until it makes a turn. Uh, they do have a headwind coming into runway 15 at the Kennedy Space Center, and uh, they should make a one overhead turn uh, to burn off some energy before they pull in for a touchdown. As I was saying, the weather appears Flight pretty good right now that uh, there are just light, fluffy clouds there. Discovery, we're showing you just above glide slope, converging to centerline. Range now six nautical miles, altitude 10,600 feet. The decision was made to come to the Kennedy Space Center because of weather conditions at Edwards Air Force Base. They had crosswinds there across the concrete runway that uh, were out of limits, 17 knots. We're about one minute now to touch down at the Kennedy Space Center for only the seventh time in the entire program. They will save about one million dollars from moving the landing from Edwards Air Force Base to the Kennedy Space Center because it will be unnecessary to uh, take the orbiter on top of a 747 and move it across country, which uh, can be a very time-consuming thing as we're seeing right now with the Endeavor. It's uh, taking a, a good deal of time to, to bring the orbiter over. Range now 2.8 nautical miles. You can see the orbiter now in the center of your screen, a small dot. 30 seconds from touchdown. Landing gear now down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Nose gear touchdown. Discovery rolling out on runway 15 at the Kennedy Space Center's shuttle landing facility, completing Discovery's 12th mission, 40th since the shuttle began flying 10 years ago. So the space shuttle Discovery uh, now coming to uh, a stop at the Kennedy Space Center Discovery after a week-long mission, the first the unclassified Department of Defense mission where uh, you basically got to see and hear just about everything. Earlier this morning, they did release a classified satellite, and there was little coverage of that. It's kind of ironic. They have three shuttles basically uh, around the area right now. Uh, Discovery just touched down on the runway. Columbia is uh, on the pad, ready for a launch in 17 days. And Endeavour is en route uh, on the back of a 747, coming into the Kennedy Space Center probably in the next day or so. So three and a half billion miles completed. Uh, the shuttle Discovery and its crew is back on the ground, safe and sound, after the Department of Defense mission. We, of course, will continue to follow the details of Discovery throughout the day here on CNN. Sure.